Happy Friday, everybody. We're back at it. Working on the 612 here. Another interesting little thing I discovered. So I'm cleaning up the transmission casting. And the three bottom bolt holes where it bolts to the differential is uh, they got this, oh, I don't know what it is, like cotton, cotton string packing material around the, the heads of the bolt, I suppose, to seal it off because, you know, the fluid level, oil level and transmission is probably about like that. So I suppose they figured anything that might leak past and out to put a little added extra sealing on those bolts. So I thought that was kind of neat. Only those three had them. None of the other ones did, just the bottom three. So that's kind of neat. So I'm going to work on cleaning up this housing a little bit. I'll check back with you later. Here we are, a few hours later. Yeah, it's pretty well cleaned up. Um, I ran a wire brush through all the bores. I ran a tap through all of the drilled holes. Um, degreased everything up really well, wire brushed it all up. So I, it's pretty well, pretty well cleaned up, ready to go. I'll give it one good final wiping before I actually start putting pieces in, but I took a flat file and lightly went over all the machine surfaces to make sure there was no, you know, like on the edges here, there's a few little nicks and burrs, make sure those were all nice and perfectly smooth and any of the threaded holes, make sure any of the, where bolts can raise, make sure I address them. So yeah. Tomorrow I'll start deburring some gears and hopefully we'll start getting some stuff put back in here. Should be exciting. Stay tuned. See you tomorrow. Happy Leap Day, everybody. Get an extra day of work this year. It's a leap year. February 29th today. So I was up and out here. I got the case cleaned up even more. Good final cleaning. Wiped down, blown out. Uh, so I'm going to start cleaning up gears now. I'm going to start with this reverse gear. Take it, put it back together in the reverse order. That we took it apart. So the shaft is pretty well cleaned up. And this gear I got to deburr. I just wanted to make a little note I haven't talked about yet. That originally I was thinking these were all just straight gears uh, on the ends. But in reality, you look at them a little closer. And the leading edge actually is machined to be uh, a little bit rounded. Um, so you can pick that up on the camera. But you can actually still see some of the machining marks. So they're really not as bad worn as, as I initially was thinking. Um, I mean, they are worn. They were abused. I mean, there's definitely more wear than what there should be. But like this part here, you know, that's that's supposed to be like that. That's actually machined like that to make them uh, easier to engage and disengage. Uh, or just mainly engage, I guess, to shift them into gears. So I just thought I'd make a little note of that for anybody that didn't know that. I guess, you know, I'm learning these things too. If I didn't know, Chances are there's other people that don't know as well. So I'm trying to put videos out that I would like to watch, that I like to learn things about. So I'll check back later. Well, there we got this reverse gear all dressed up. Took all the burrs off of it. Cleaned up. Shaft's all cleaned up so we can start reassembling stuff now. Ended up just taking well, a little bit of file and a little bit of the just a little stone on the die grinder very carefully and just just dressing up those those you know mushroomed edges and whatever a little bit just clean them all up so none of those 
Uh, basically, what I worry about so you know, those chunks don't end up breaking off and running around in the transmission. So I think it looks pretty good. It'll work. Not bad for a 100-year-old machine. So I'm going to have a little bit of lunch. I'll check back with you guys later. Okay, get ready to put this back together. I got the bushings all lubed up with some assembly grease. And one more little note I was going to make before I put it together. I was going to straighten out this key, right? Because I thought it was cocked in there crooked. Well, it's actually in there that way on purpose. That uh, shaft is a tapered keyway. So that key is supposed to be tapered like that. I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, I'll go over the press here now and put it back together. Well, that was easy. I didn't even need to go to the press. I started it by hand, you know, just to get it, get it going, and it was going really easy. I gave it a little tap, tap, tap with the soft-headed hammer, and it went right together. So it's really not even really a press fit. It's just a, especially now that everything is clean. So there's just a little bit of end play, like I suppose it should be. But that, you know, once that plate is on there to hold it tight, there really isn't even much in that. And it's a nice, there's no, no side to side play. The bushings are still nice and tight. So we're going to call that done. Move on to our next set of gears now. Start cleaning up, deburring something else. Okay, let's work on this next. So I was just over the press, supported it under here, pressed off the gear. This one was on there. A little bit harder, but still nothing crazy tight. We got that. Now, once we get this key out of here, we can take this collar off and clean this all up really nice. Put it back together. And then we can put this assembly back in the transmission case. So that's what I'll work on here next. Okay, those parts are all cleaned up. The tooth is back from the dentist's office. Dr. Swanson here. Give it a little uh, uh, every 100 year tooth cleaning. <laughs> so we're good for another 100 years now. It's basically just dressed up all the little burrs and boogers and should be good to go. Good enough. Good as it's going to get. Okay, let's put it back together. This goes on here. And the key will go back in here. It's pretty snug. I'll probably have to beat it in there, tap it in with the hammer, and then we'll go push this gear, press the gear back on. There, pressed it back on. Uh, went good. I pressed it just a little bit snugger than it was originally, so this collar isn't loose rattly on there, so I'm a little happier about that. But yeah, looks good. Went on good. Um, so this chunk is basically ready to go back in I think. Uh, I'll have to think about this which part needs to go in first. I th think this one can go in next. Try to put it back together in the opposite order I took it apart. Uh, I'll have to go study the transmission here for a second but yeah I think this one can go in next. Okay so what we gotta do now is this gear assembly goes in, up, and halfway in place, and then we got to put our bearing on. Can't put it on first, or you can't get the assembly in the hole, it interferes with that other gear. So you got to get it halfway in the hole, put the bearing on, and then put the whole assembly in, making sure to put the bearing with the thrust the right way. So this is going to go on the shaft like that, because that will be that thrust, and then uh, the thrust on the outside or the back. That'll ride up against that rear cover, which goes on the back there, if you remember. So I'll do that here now off camera, because I can't film and do it at the same time. There, that one in good. Just tapped it in with the 
soft hammer again. Uh, so you just drive it in until this rear bearing is flush with the back. Um, I've got to tighten up this nut now, put a cotter pin in there, bend that over. Uh, but I'm happy with it. it. Everything spins beautifully. It's just that little bit of backlash in the gears. So yeah, things are looking good. I like this. I like it when things go back together and just work. This is exciting. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night here. It's past 8 o'clock and I haven't even had supper yet. Getting hungry. So, I think what the game plan for tomorrow will be is I'll finish getting this rear plate cleaned up. Still, you know, a little bit gunky. Um, I think I'll get this, at least this cleaned up and all the bolts for it cleaned up and whatnot and all the bolts for the transmission to the differential housing cleaned up and put this plate on the transmission. So this, I got this nut tightened up by the way, I got to put a cotter pin in it yet. Uh, so this will be located once this plate is on. And then once that's located, that sets the pinion shaft depth. And then, so once that's set, I can put, and I realize the transmission isn't done yet, but there's enough of it together that I can put it back on the differential assembly here and check how that uh, backlash in the pinion gear to the differential, how oh, that's all fitting together so I can determine if that's all going to be good or if I'm going to have to figure out what to do if it isn't. Um, so I can at least cross that bridge. Uh, so I think that'll be the, the what I'll work on tomorrow, getting that figured out. And at the same time, while it's together, I can confirm for Norm if that shifting rail detent ball, if that is fixable on his through the top or not. Like we were talking the other day here, I think it would be doable. Not easy, but I think it's doable. But once I get that back on there, I can confirm that for him. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll sign off for tonight here, and we'll come check back in the morning. Hope you had a happy leap day today. You know, I had a fun day. Well, I got this plate all cleaned up here this afternoon. So that's ready to go back on. A little bit of previous damage here. It's all scarred up. I'm guessing somebody broke off a bolt at some point and they were chiseling trying to get that broken bolt out. I don't know if I had to speculate what was going on there, but yeah, it's all cleaned up. There's been a tap run through all the threaded holes, flat file on all the machine surfaces. I cleaned up all the bolts, uh, wire wheeled them up, ran a die over the threads, so they're all cleaned up. Cleaned up all the original style lock washers again. And they were all with the ridge towards the head. I mean, some of them were even stuck on there that way. So they've been that way a long time. Because there's been a few comments, people saying that I should be putting them the other way, with the you know, lock washer into that ridge into the casting hole, and maybe that's the way they should be. I, I'm not saying I'm for sure know that they shouldn't. All I know is that when I took everything apart, everything was with the ridge towards the head. Um, so I, I I don't know. Um, and I cleaned up the bolts for the transmission, the bolt the transmission to the differential housing. Uh, kind of interesting, uh, people that might not realize these, back in the day that these were made, you know, this is 1920, back in that vintage, bolts were obviously different, the heads were thicker, and they were more handmade, so to speak. Um, they weren't pumped out on the assembly line like they are today. The machine, the machinery that make them was different. So like that one, you can still see the nipple in the middle where they cut it. And 
Uh, unfortunately, I, one of these original lock washers broke here, and I was doing so good. And, you know, I was clamping them in the in the vise over there and wire wheeling them up. Well, one of them caught the wire wheel and ting went flying. So somewhere in the shop there is one of these lock washers, but the chances of it finding getting found are pretty slim, I'd say. You can start taking bets if you'd like whether or not I ever find that lock washer. Um, three of these are a little bit longer because the bottom three holes of the transmission the casting is thicker there, so those bolts are a little bit, a little bit taller. A little bit taller. So I think I'm going to start putting things together here to dry fit everything, and I'll check back in a little bit. There, plates on there with the bolts just snugged up. So now we know that that pinion is, you know, got its end stop, so to speak. So now we can put this back on there. Hey, hey, it's starting to look like something. Got it back on there. There again, bolts just snugged up. No lock washers or nothing yet because it's going to have to come back off again. But it went on there good. It actually went on there kind of snug. That that pilot where this is machined to fit into this is pretty snug and there's this locating dowel. So I actually had to tap it into place. So getting it back off will be a little bit tricky. But it all went together good. And if I reach around inside here, and there's the backlash in the gear there. I don't know if it's what it should be or not, but it doesn't seem terrible. I'll have to do some more asking around and seeing how that should be, tolerance-wise. And for Norm, so when you're looking down into the case here, be able to see it in there or not. Hold on, let me grab a flashlight. So down in there, tip my finger, that's where the detent ball is. So I think you could probably fix it from the top side here. If you get creative and get a, like you said, a universal with a socket on there to take, so that's what's in there, to take that lock washer, or lock nut rather, loose, and then back this bolt out, and then underneath there will be a spring and a check ball, and I'm guessing it's a spring that's broken, and I can just fit my hand down in here, so if you got a little hand, or get your little grandson's hand or something, down inside of there, I think I could probably fix it from the top side, it won't be probably be easy, but I think it could be done. Just don't drop any of the pieces down inside or you'll definitely be taking it apart. <laughs> so I did the experiment for you, Norm. I did get the shifting rail in there and the check ball and the spring and the bolt. Let that flashlight go. In there from the top side, so it's not easy, but it is doable. So I think you can do it without having to take it all apart. And there again, I uh, took it all, all that check ball assembly out through the top too. So with a long, you know, little magnet with a little stick on it and then a little pick. I pulled that spring out of there and the magnet to get the check ball out. So it, you can do it from the top. It's a pain, but you can do it. Um, and then, so on another note, so I've been trying to decide how I want to do this shifting rail shaft. So I had it, you can put it in from the back side here. I took that plate back off and put it in this way. And wow, well, I get, you got to put the, the fork on there too at the same time. So you can do all that. But the problem is, if you remember that seal in the back there, that leather seal we made, that's pointing this way. So in theory, it would be better to put that shaft in from the other end. But 
the hiccup is that I can't currently do that because of the plate here it hits. So I could drill a hole here. I could take this off of the engine stand and assemble it that way. Um, a few different options at this point. I'll have to think about that, what I want to do. Uh, but you can, can take it apart either way. Um, so yeah, I'll have to, to think about that one. What I want to do. And then I'll get some some white grease, and I think when, when next weekend we'll smear on the gears here and see, you know, run it around, see what that gear pattern looks like. Um, maybe if I can round up an indicator to see what kind of backlash we actually got there. You know, I'm guessing we should have, you know, what, maybe 10, 15 thou or so. Maybe not even that much, maybe... I don't, I'm not sure what ideal is there. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, and then, yeah, once we get that all figured out, then we can start putting things together for good. Because once I know that that is good, then I can put this together for good. I can put this together for good. And then... Uh, I guess the next hiccup is deciding what we want to do with that worn, that worn spline on the shaft. You know, if we want to get that built up and remachined, or if I just run it the way it is. I don't know. That's that's the next thing to figure out. But like I said, I don't have the parts here for that, so I'll probably have to uh, get them here would be the next best thing to see what that fits like on there and well, I guess go from there but that's where we're at um, I think we did made some pretty good progress this weekend we got the transmission pretty well set I gotta finish doing this stuff yet that should go pretty quick as well um, yeah I think we'll call it a weekend here gotta go home make supper now and uh, back at it, go to work tomorrow. So I'll probably see you guys again next Friday. Thanks for watching.